Welcome to Modeler's World, a series from British Pithé. In this series, we aim to provide an informative insight into some of the various techniques and skills used by modelers around the world. In the spotlight today is one of the techniques used to make columns. The modeler begins by gaining a clear idea what the column should look like. The modeler then turns to his collection of useful plastics and other materials. To create the columns, he chooses 1mm thick plastic card, 6mm diameter plastic rod and M5ZP flat washers. Taking the 1mm plastic card, the modeler measures 10mm in from the straight edge and draws a line using a pencil. then measures along this section, placing a mark every 10mm. This produces squares measuring 10mm by 10mm. Taking a craft knife, he then makes many light strokes along the external lines in order to cut out the strip of squares. After this, a strip of plastic card is put into the mitre block and the modeler uses his razor saw to cut perfect right angle cuts to produce the squares. These squares are then organized into groups of three, one for the top and two for the bottom. Taking the two squares for the bottom, he carefully applies a couple of small dots of super glue on one square and then places the other on top, making sure they line up perfectly. After this, the modeler then uses a small file to slightly bevel and smooth the edges and corners. This technique is also used on the square for the top of the column.
Once this step is completed, the modeler then applies a small amount of super glue to a washer and places it carefully on top of the double thick square of plastic card. This is replete, repeated with a second washer, placing it on the single thickness piece of plastic card. With the top and bottom of the column complete, the modeler then turns his attention to the main part of the column. Taking the 6mm diameter plastic rod, the modeler measures a length, in this case 21mm. He then places this in the mitre block and once again using the razor saw cuts a perfect 90 degree cut. After cleaning off the ends of the rod, super glue is then applied. The rod is then placed in the middle of the washer, so as to provide a frame for the rod. After this is dried, super glue is applied to the other end of the rod, and this is placed in the middle of the other washer. With the column now complete, the modeler can take a well-earned tea break. Rome wasn't built in a day, and this modeler now knows why. <laughs>